creatures of the world and welcome back to coffee with Carrie Lynn. I look like absolute trash. We're hustling to get things done before the thunderstorms that are supposed to roll through early this afternoon happened in the far north of Maine up along the Canadian border in the crown of Maine. I hope everyone is having a nice warm sunny summer day wherever you may be. I hope you're having a day filled with fabulosity and dang good coffee. We all need a dang good cup of coffee don't we? We park our coffee here on the homestead. So if you're impatient, you get a dirty cup of dishwater. If you have the patience to do a little bit of your morning routine and then go in for the cup of coffee, you get a really good cup. We drink Maxwell House, Folgers, whatever's cheapest and on sale. That's what we're drinking here. Yes, complaint department. I know the cup is chipped. It's my yard working cup. It's my barn chore cup. We have a saying here on the homestead, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. While this is broke, it does not leak. We do with what we have, or we can just do without here. So until it starts leaking out the bottom, I'll be using the cup. I will replace it when the Halloween items come out in the store, provided I can find a big enough cup, because this cup just holds the perfect amount of coffee. I can do my chores. I don't have to run in the house every 10 minutes for a refill, and it's just... It's my outdoorsy cup. So you're going to see it a lot more for those of you who have been complaining about it. Now, when you email me complaints, I just dead file you anyways because it doesn't really matter. doesn't make a, a dang difference to my life whether I use a broken cup or not a broken cup. Whether I'm using a Halloween cup in July or in October. I don't care. It holds liquid. It keeps me going. And there we have it. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about Google and the algorithm and what it's doing to your brain. Cognitive warfare, a war for your brain. And it is screwing you all up, it's screwing me up, it's screwing every content creator up. It's what it's meant to do. It's meant to spoon feed you certain material. Once again, complaints. I've been doing other content rather than news and politics. We have to take a break from the news and politics every once in a while because it de-stresses you. It clears your mind a little bit. And this show was originally started as a variety show. It was started as memory therapy for when I had COVID. COVID really destroyed me. It was terrible. It shot my short-term memory for a while. I was a long hauler. It removed memories from my long-term department. Uh, I lost words. I couldn't string a sentence together. So almost a year later after I had COVID and was suffering the long haul effects, I started this channel to improve my memory and to improve my speech. After I was very ill and started my recovery. I couldn't remember how to knit, crochet, weave, spin wool, and that had been part of my life my entire life. So I had to reteach myself all that, and then I had to reteach myself how to think and improve my memory skills. And that's what this podcast is all about. It was variety because I was not doing news and politics back then because I couldn't remember nothing. And what I could remember is what I talked about. So what pops into my head flies out my mouth. Sometimes we're all surprised by what I have to say. Sometimes the shows are not all about news and politics. However, even when I do shows, how to's, how to can, how to grow a garden, raise your livestock, how to homestead, um, I buy and try so you don't have to. There are always messages in those shows. So if you don't watch those shows, you don't hear what I'm really saying to people who have a skewed view of what's going on in the world. We know, my subscribers and I know, that the world is a dumpster fire. The United States is a dumpster fire. News and politics, dumpster fire. But there are people that are walking around with their heads in the sand, thinking that everything is fine. Feeling it's not, but thinking it is. And they're the people who 
are noticing their paycheck isn't buying what it should be. You see, you see them on the TikTok. The the younger people now are starting to scream. I get I I earn three hundred dollars a week, and at the end of the week, when my bills are paid, my rent is paid. I only have thirty dollars for food. They're starting to snap to. Those are the people those videos are made for. If I can just plant one seed, I'm not interested in saving the world anymore. I tried to do that in my 20s and 30s. Didn't quite work out. Um, I'm just not, I, I learned a long time ago, especially when things started getting really, really, really bad in 2020, that I couldn't save the world. Although I want everyone to make it out of this shite show, I know that there's a lot of people that are going to be lost to their ideology. And they just, no matter what, no matter what, they're just not going to see what's going on for what it is. Just not good. They don't see the, the battle between good and evil. They don't see a ruined economy. They don't see a ruined nation or a nation being ruined um they see nonsense and they will forever see that because they are married to that ideology there's nothing you can do for them however there are people in that crowd that are having a hard time they're surrounded by the people who ain't paying attention and they're seeing that their money isn't going as far as it should they watch a video and they say wow okay this chick's on to something because my paychecks aren't going as far as they should. They watch one of my shows and their algorithm, believe it or not, flips. And they start seeing more shows about what I'm talking about. Sometimes they subscribe to the channel and then they watch a news and politics show. And they're hooked. They're hooked because something someone outside of their ideology is speaking to them, relating to them in different content. So I can't always do the news and politics. It's not good for you. It's not good for me. What's going on in the algorithm is a reality distortion. It is dividing us. It is tribalizing us. It is making you think in terms of them and us. We're all people. We're all humans. We are not our political affiliations. We're just people. And we do need to be the kindness that we want to see in the world. Whether we like it or not. There are people that are just incapable of letting go of their ideology. Will they be left behind? Absolutely. Because even people like me... We're not trying to persuade anyone anymore. We're not trying to tell people who are so absorbed with Trump derangement syndrome or Biden derangement syndrome. We're not trying to reach out to them anymore. We're trying to reach out to people who understand there's a problem and understand that, yeah, maybe they need to put a few extra cans of food on their shelves because the problem is getting worse. We're building community and the algorithm is ripping us apart. It's ripping humanity apart. What you type into your search bar when you are looking for something to watch on these platforms, that's all that's being regurgitated to you. You need to be snapped out of that. And sometimes you don't even have to leave my channel to be snapped out of that. Just watch a show that's not political. Just watch a show that's not about the news. You'll hear my messaging in those shows as well. Before I begin every show, every day, I Google my show to see where Google is dumping me. Because nobody knows where to put the show. Uh, I get to select the categories. So sometimes my news and politics shows are under people and vlogs. Um... That, that was, this is a new feature for creators where you can actually put your individual shows. They classify me just as a podcast now. Um, but a, for a long time, 14 months of having this channel, they didn't know where to put me. So I got dumped in everybody's algorithm. And 
I try to keep being dumped in everybody's algorithm. So I go over to Google before every show and I Google Coffee with Carrie Lynn. The first two um, vlogs that come up are not mine. That's somebody else. I don't know who that, who that Carrie is, but it is not me. I don't have a vlog. I don't have a website page. I just do this on all the platforms. But you will find the next... 33 slots on the home page. That's all me. You'll be able to see the videos. The videos that you cannot search on YouTube. Because they don't want you seeing them. They're on Google. Most of my body of work. The important stuff. Not just, not just the newer stuff. But a lot of important videos come up on Google. And it shows you every platform. From the audio to the video. Of where I am, it shows you all my social media, Twitter, TwixX, The Trump and Truth. I'm at Coffee with Carrie on both of those. Um, on Instagram, I am Coffee with Carrie Lynn, no hyphen. And what is happening on Google and why I do this, I search my show every day before I tell you guys to go look for it, is because things are being scrubbed all the time. Your reality, your perception of reality is being altered by the Google algorithm. Big fiasco, big scandal about Facebook. Facebook has put a, uh, a, a warning on people's pages that showed the photograph of the Secret Service hustling Donald Trump into the vehicle with the flag behind him, the red stuff on him, and the fist bump. And saying that was misinformation. Meta AI has said that there was never an attempt at assassination. Now Google, uh, Google uh, Zuckerberg has come out and apologized and saying that that was an algorithm mistake because a lot of people were actually bitching about it. Uh, but if you, some people Google, not if you specifically, but some people will Google attempted Trump assassination and nothing comes up about it as though it didn't exist. These platforms, these search engines are trying to rewrite history. AI is trying to rewrite history. Accusing shows, segments and shows of misinformation, disinformation, fake news, cheap fakes. And uh, that's not the case. And we are forever going to keep it real here. However, I will always do different content to get the message out. So while you may not like how I present the content one day, just swipe away, come back another day, and possibly I'll be presenting the content the way y'all like it. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. If there's a subject that you really think I should cover, drop it in the comment section. I'm in the comment section all the time. I have fabulous subscribers here on Coffee with Carrie Lynn. They keep me on my toes. They let me know what's going on. We have great conversations. They let me know when videos are taken down. I saw something. Now I don't. Where is it? And we get to the bottom of things here. We are a community here on Coffee with Kerry Lynn. And even though you have a different opinion, you may have a different political opinion. You may have a different ideology. My subscribers unless you browbeat me, because sometimes they get to you before I do. My subscribers will politely put you in your place when you browbeat me and troll me. It's happened many, many times. But you have the opportunity here on this channel to have a valid opinion with nobody attacking you. But if you attack people in the comment section, I can guarantee you, I will be blocking and removing you. But before I get to that, I can guarantee you at least four or five of my subscribers have already mopped the floor with you because that's just how it works around here. Um, we don't tolerate nonsense and nasty. We do understand that the reason why you are nonsensical and you are nasty in the comment section is because the algorithm has screwed with your brain. The algorithm has taught you how to dislike and scream down anybody that does not hold your opinion. Now, if it is an opinion I do not agree with that you have and you are polite, you stay in my comment section. Have conversation. 
Most people don't, but I am not fighting with anybody in my comment section. And I am not going to allow anybody to bully and fight with people in my comment section. So be kind, be nice, be respectful. And your comment stays. Uh, for the most part, I do not take down comments. If you are commenting and you don't see your comment right, right away, it's because it was held. YouTube held, holds hate speech. And if you have a comment and it was nasty, YouTube, you may delete that comment, but that comment is not deleted from me. I am emailed a copy of every comment that goes on my channel because, you know, People are nasty and ugly, and sometimes, sometimes content creators need proof for when they go to the police department that their lives were threatened. Sometimes. So I get a, a hard email copy. Every YouTuber gets one. A hard email copy. But all the video platforms send them to you. So you may get rid of your comment, but I still have it. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world. If I have disappointed any of my subscribers with alternative presentation of news, information, facts, truth, uh, I'm really sorry about that, but I am going to continue to present in different forms, different art forms, so to speak. Maybe we'll do Conspiracy Theory Tuesday. Maybe we'll do Wild and Wacky Wednesday, Manic Monday. Maybe we'll get back to Freaky Friday. Who the heck knows? Everything I do does, if you listen and watch, everything I do does have a message to help people. We're building community. I don't care about having a million subscribers. I care about having subscribers that are kind subscribers that will if I make a mistake you feel free enough to say listen I don't think so and this is what I found on Google we might be seeing two different algorithms we don't know I enjoy my audience and I am always trying to reach out to other people and I do understand the battle between good and evil I do understand that there is a lot of people that need to get faith because they have nothing. They're agnostic. If I plant the seed in one person's mind and they say, hey, I kind of like the way she did that. I'm going to go back to that channel. Eventually, they will hit on the news and politics. They will get the shock and awe and they will not be able to deny it. And that's what we're doing here on Coffee with Kerry Lynn. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world, be the kindness you want to see in the world. Don't other other people. That was, that was, that was cute. Don't other people who don't think like you. Listen to what they have to say. And if they're just off their rocker, let them, let them retain their opinion. Do not fight. Uh, do not fuss. And always seize your day. Carpe diem, beautiful creatures of the world, because no one promised you a tomorrow.